Hello, hi everyone, I'm Christian with Cryptic Hybrid and this is the first part of my Wailing Heights walkthrough. Now, Wailing Heights is an adventure game from Outsider Games coming out April 27th. Yeah, April 27th, let's, uh, without further ado, let's new game. Just a quick note, this walkthrough is just to help you uh, along the way, uh, you know, to fully enjoy Wailing Heights, which I do recommend because it is a really good game, you know, just buy it and... Uh, and uh, explore it in full. This is just to help you along the way. ...the today's events, and the loss of the last surviving member of one of Britain's greatest ever rock and roll bands. For the next 24 hours, GBB1 will be paying tribute to the deadbeat. To Fangs, Shaggy, Spectra and Zed, may you forever be at peace. The fearsome foursome is reunited once more. Oi Francis, how are you mate? Hey, hey, bite me Finkelstein, eh? Hey? <laughs> Listen, Finkelstein, got you a gig. Yeah, seems now all four deadbeats are pushing up daisies. Almost immediately everybody wants to get their hands on good old bite me Finkelstein. Right mate, moustache. Uh, lucky day, eh? Well, I mean, not the death bit, but still. Looks like your life's about to turn around. Ta-ra! <laughs> Act 1, anybody will do. <coughs> Mr. Finkelstein, Francis Finkelstein. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, the beginning where you get to know your character a bit. Francis Finkelstein, and I'm just gonna say Gasp. It doesn't matter what uh, ah, good. option you choose. Well, wait. well then, since you've gotten yourself into a bit of a muddle, Mr. Uh, Miss... Uh, you can choose Mr. Miss. Francis can be man, woman. Doesn't really matter. Mister? Hmm. Well, that clears up the first question. Due to your um condition, <laughs> I'm afraid your case file is a little bit on the light side. Condition? What am I? Am I dead? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> That's the problem. Personality aside, you're quite alive. And I'm afraid there are laws against that sort of nonsense in Wailing Heights. Technically, the charge is illegal thresholding. And with your current biological status, we're in a spot of legal bother. You see, we can't allow you to stay in Wailing Heights. But at the same time, <laughs> we can't let you leave. Hmm. Here, why don't you have a biscuit while we sort this all out, eh? Wailing Heights? Finkel. Where have I heard that name before? Ah, oh, of course! Bite me Finkelstein! Now I recognize you! Your old born loser Finkelstein from Here Come the Deadbeats! Who could I not have picked you outright? <laughs> Bite me Finkelstein. Classic. Anyway, yes, well, that fills in your history a bit. I didn't think I'd be representing a celebrity today. Well, not really celebrity, but you know what I mean. Right. Occupation. Plucky comic relief. Peripherally attached to the deadbeats. Yeah, here we can choose anything. I'm going to choose... I produce all the records. Peripherally? But I produce the records. Yes, quite. Hey, do you want to hear something funny? 
I'm a bit of a musical maestro myself. You'll probably recognize the voice. So go man, so go man, so go man. No matter the crime, there's a legal loophole. So if you're feeling guilty, better call Saul. Okay, we got the name. Saul Gulman, public defender for the deceased. I've never heard ghost rap before. Good, isn't it? Here, let me get you some tea. I'll be right back. Help yourself to a biscuit, they're lovely. Holy smokes. Either Manchester Monster Menagerie has an elaborate prank budget this year or I have a ghoulish jail to escape. Okay, so here you take control of uh, Francis and you have to, well, sample these little cookies. They look pretty horrible. I am kind of petty. Ugh. Oh, disgusting. I think I just swallowed a cookie's corpse. Still, Mam always said never pass up a free meal. Or oh, was that Elvis who said that? I always get the two confused. Has a cookie. You're in a pickle. If you can pass me up a bit of grub for my escape out of here, I'll make it worth your while. Okay, so we're going to choose. Well, let me check my pockets because you have a cookie with you. Let me check my pockets. And just click on the cookie. Mm. Uh, oatmeal raisin. Well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Nick Jane for your awesome whistle, seeing as I won't need it anymore. I want to give you some. Okay, we got the uh, possession wheel. Haven't you seen a musical possession wheel before? Add the right ingredients, find the right words, and you can sing your soul into another body. Well, your boy Gulman's coming back. Adios. Just remember the musical formula. Find the real name, something they love, an item they hate, and you can possess anyone's undead body. Okay, that's how the possession wheel works. Right then, tea and biscuits, civilized. Ah, I see you started without me. Uh, what do you think of the biscuit, eh? Uh, let's just say, let's say Yammers because he likes biscuits too. Yammers. Ah, there's nothing I love more than a biscuit, yes siri. Love, love, love these cookies. Ah, so, back to our little conundrum. Lucky for you, I know exactly how to sort this out. I'll just glide over to Town Hall. Look up the Human Rights Act, we'll have you out of here in a jiffy. Just a few cases ahead of you, and in order to access the law library, I'm going to need to earn myself a promotion, which will require me going back to law school for a bit longer. A trifling matter, really. All told, I should be back with an update in about 80 years. 80 years? But I'll be dead in 10. <laughs> well, that certainly works out in both our favour, doesn't it? Anyway, I need you to sign here, here, and here. Or you can use my... Ah! Oh, as a man who enjoys his paperwork, I hate, hate, hate pens that don't work. Okay, so we're going to take the pen because he hates it, and we're going to use this for the position wheel. Oh, I'd love to add that to my broken pen collection. Don't see why not, weirdo. Before we finalize all this, I'm going to go over the fine print, just to make sure you understand everything. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes. I haven't been comfortable with any of this. Excellent. Let's begin. Clause 1.1.0a. Insofar as forthwith aforementioned, whereas notwithstanding in perpetuitous habeas defense duration of exceptio probat, de regulorum de baris non exceptus blah 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 
blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah blah non blah 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 nonsense okay so while he's blah blahing we'll uh, start the position wheel and we have to click on the his name so Goldman something he loves cookies and something he hates broken pens He likes his cookie crisp, but messy writing he can't handle that. And broken pens, that's what makes it snap. Well, that was weird. Ah! I'm scaring myself. Okay, so we now have control over Saul Goldman, and we're going to go out. Let's see if we can't expedite the process a little. Expedite? 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 Man, nobody's going to believe I'm a lawyer. Okay, this is the oh, inside the police station. In Goldman's mouth. Right, how do I get out of here? First, let's help out this little fellow and test our powers. Goldman! Saul Goldman! I need a man of your particular skills. What sort of skills would those be then? Uh, you can choose anything from here. Really? I can flick my pen around my fingers in a really cool and annoying way. All valuable in certain situations, but not today. See those three precipitators over there? Again, three choices anyone will do. You mean percolator? I don't know. You're the silver tongued lawyer. Anyway, two of them are innocent. The other one is guilty. Guilty of what? Security fraud. What? Selling fake pensions. To the dead. Hence the crime. Anyway, see if you can use your ghostly powers to find out which of those scumbags I should arrest. Happy to help. Okay, so we're going to turn into a spectre. I see? I think I'm invisible. Ah, if this day couldn't get any weirder. Far cooler. Okay, and I'm going to go... You see, you can ease up on what uh, all of these characters are thinking, I'm going to ease up on the guard actually. I can't wait to clock out so I can get home and start frauding people again. I just arrested these guys to throw the heat off me. Okay, we got it. Now let's get back to talk to this guy. Sorry, we have to turn back into... I know who okay. did it. Who? It was your fellow police officer over there, he did it. Oh my, really? I heard him loud and clear. That sucks, now I got to call internal affairs. Uh, can I go now? Yeah, thanks Saul, I'll clean up this mess. Okay, so we helped, now we'll get out of here. We have to go to City Hall, Town Hall. Don't panic, deep breath, just breathe. Uh, I have no lungs. Guess that's why I'm not hyperventilating right now. Okay. Step one. Make my way to the town hall library. Easy. Step two. Find a book on human rights. Step three. Bring it back here and exonerate my body before I end up a permanent resident. How hard can that be? Okay. Uh, just a note. You can walk faster. Move faster if you're a ghoul. So I'm going to use that. See, town hall, right, uh, right next to the police station. Talk to this uh, lady hey, here. Uh, I was wondering if you could help me. Make it quick, Saul. I'm busy. Any idea where I could get myself a book on human rights? <laughs> And what would a low-level, second-rate lawman like Saul Gulman need something like that for? I've been... Uh, I mean, a client of mine has been wrongfully imprisoned. A client? You? <laughs> what poor sap got stuck with you as a lawyer? Hmm, indeed. Anyway, your client's out of luck. Human reference section is on the top floor. And as you may recall, top floor is BLTY access only. BLTY? Better lawyers than you. Okay. 
Just what floor are you staying? Try to go up. Mind if I float on up? You know you're tethered to the ground floor, Gulman, and I don't see a promotion in your near future. Is there any way I could nip up to the top floor? <laughs> if you could grow wings, you could fly up. Delivery from the crematory. About time. Is it still even warm? Well, it was wriggling when I left the shop. At this point, I'd say semi-coagulated at best. Well, leave it on the counter and slap off. <laughs> Keep the bag, old bag. Oh, transmorphing in public. Kids these days just have no self-respect. Anyway, what was I saying? Something about sprouting wings. Okay, so that was a vampire and we need to become a vampire in order to get up on the second floor. Before that, just look in the bag and get the Drax blood clotted cream. Now exit the town hall. Well, the crematory seems to have drawn a bit of a crowd tonight. Emphasis on the bit. And we're going to go or transform back to a ghoul. Not talk to the, that guy over there in the corner. We have to go to the crematory and... This place looks cozy. If blood and fangs are your idea of cozy. Okay, they're all waiting. Hipster uh, vampires. Let's talk to, to this bouncer here. It speak vampires only? But I'm a huge fan of... Legend. I've got her entire box set. <laughs> what? First of all, it's leg end. Second, leg end is a he. Third, it's his debut album. And fifth, at the risk of sounding redundant, vampires only. Hey, that's discrimination, that is. Get a lawyer. <laughs> hey. Wait, I think I am a lawyer. Okay, so we have to take control of one of these vampires, namely... Oh. Her. Hello! Oh, hey, Spooky. Couldn't hear you with my phones on. Let's, uh, let's ask her what she's what into. To? It's this totally wicked new indie track. You probably wouldn't like it. Like it was written just for me. Wanna hear? Obviously, of course. I'm sure, I like music. Written just for you, huh? Yeah, cause my name's Lola. Oh, that's deep. You wouldn't understand. Okay, so we got her name. Let's ask, uh... So, Lola, would you say you love tonight's band? Is there a band tonight? No, I'm just here because I love the Hemo Lattes. They make a cracking AB negative. Hemo Latte? You'll figure it out. Huh. Yummy. Yeah, so she likes the Hemo Lattes, okay? May I offer you a nibble of this fine clotted cream? Ugh! No, you freak! I ate that stuff! Whoa, chill out, lady. Haste, haste, haste. I tell you, haste. Okay, I get it. You hate clotted cream. Don't say that word! Mm. Oh! A bit over dramatic, don't you think? Haste! Okay, so she hates the cream that we have, this one, but we need a coffee. Let's talk to this vampire here. Why are you standing in line if you've already got a coffee? By the time I get to the front of the queue, this one will be cold. Didn't you get that one from here? And your voice here? Is there blood in your coffee? 
If you can call AB negative proper blood. Wait. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> Hear that, guys? This spook is trying it on with me. No, I, I wasn't. I swear. Not a chance in hell, Snowball. So, would you say you love the band tonight? Love? No. But then I don't really love anything. Yeah, that's kind of sad. No. Been waiting long. When I joined the crew, this music wasn't retro. Okay, we I think we have to talk to these guys too, right? Before we get to convince her to give us to give what her a copy. Are you to scram? It just so happens I am a lawyer. Figure of speech. Scram. Right. What about that band, eh? What? You're a big fan. Whatever. I get paid by the club to stand in line and look good. Me too. I thought this was a line to the bank machine. <laughs> Hello. Talk to Lola again. Oh, hey, Spooky. Couldn't hear you if my phone's on. Why are you bringing earphones to a concert? Um, excuse me, but my music sensitivities are very, um... Sensitive? Extremely. But you're already... It's called a metaphor. Okay. Have a medium day. Meh. <laughs> She's mayors. Let's try again with this one. Um. Okay. Let's ask if the coffee is really good. Is the coffee really that good here? Mm, it's absolutely. <laughs> What's the matter? They put a B negative in this. Moron! I said O! Oh. That's A B negative, right? I can't tell. Didn't I freaking say O? Oh? I totally said O. Oh. Thank God I'm already back in the queue for another one. Okay, so she doesn't like the coffee, so we're just going to uh, throw it in the bin from her for her. Oh, would you like me to throw that in the bin for you? Fine. But don't expect a tip or anything. Okay, we got the coffee, the David Native, which Lola loves. So we're just going to over to closer to Lola and pick her name in the position wheel. Something she loves, something she hates, and body again. Forgot what it was like to be so heavy. Ahem. Ahem. Uh, Mr. Dorman, uh, would you mind holding my place in line? Oi, Lola, you know the rules. I know, I know. Vampires only. But while all you hipsters are waiting to hate the music inside, why don't you practice hating on this guy? Okay, so now we, now we have to control of Lola. Meh. That's hmm. the spirit. Hipsters unite! Right, now to get that book. Okay, so we're going to get that book in the second part of the walkthrough. I am Christian with Cryptic Hybrid. See you soon!